Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So you just see, it's starting to go a little bit dark. If you watched the first episode, you would have seen then we had an old barn here that I said I wanted to get rid of. We got rid of it in the first episode, but we were left with a bit of a crater here that I had to fix. Now, I must admit, this was a lot easier to fix than I thought it was going to be. So I thought I'm going to do it off camera because it was going to take a while to do, but it was actually pretty simple. As you can see, nice and smooth, looking pretty good now. So we've got to go and get ourselves a new silo. What kind of silo are we going to go for? Well, I must admit, there is quite a few that we can go for. And I wasn't really too sure what was the best one. I've been having a look through to see some of them just don't hold what we want. Some do, some hold massive amount of storage. Some just don't hold much at all. So we're going to have a look into silos here. As you can see, we have got loads. I mean, there's, well, as you can see through the list, there's a lot, a lot of things we can go for. Now, on my off screen play of this map, I have got this one. Now, I got this one because the silo that I'm going to show you, I hadn't actually got installed. It when I, when I was playing this, it wasn't actually available to get from the mod hub. And I was going to go for this because it holds pretty much everything that you could throw at it. But it's a fair size. I mean, 90,000, not bad. But if you just look at the sheer size of it, it is a bit of a beast. And it holds 20 million liters of everything. I mean, that's a lot. As you've seen, you know, with oats in the first one and that, we didn't get much at all. Do we really need 20 million liters? I, I, I don't think so, if I'm honest. So I was kind of so having a bit of a look through to see what else we can get. I mean, we've got some ridiculous size things. I mean, look at this. I love how it says not enough money. You ain't kidding. 1.2 million needed for this thing. But he does, it looks nice. It just wouldn't fit on this farm and this map at all, really, anywhere. And if we keep going along through the list, many, many, many silos that I've got on here, we have these cool things. These wood silos. I like these because they're cheap, but also they're nice and simple. It's just this cool little thing here. Very simple. But it holds 5 million liters. Now, I think 5 million, I think that's more than enough for what we've got, don't you? 5 million? That, that's fine, that is. So. I think we'll go for this. Now, do we go for the red one? White one? This is the thing you see. I think the red one will match in with the building we've got over there. All right, it doesn't kind of match in with the static caravan, but hopefully we might be able to upgrade that at some point. So I was thinking about putting it here because it's it's easy. We can get access. You just drive straight through, tip it in and fill from literally above as well. So let's go and drop that in right about there. Look at that. So we've got a silo so now we can go through and we can literally we're going to have a look in here and see if we go down to the list you'll see where you've got the zero by all the products there we can literally hold pretty much everything in this thing i mean look we've got hay straw diesel rose salt grass silage milk you can even put milk in this thing wood chips seeds sugar cane you know we we can hold everything which is why i wanted to go for it because it just makes it so much easier so we've got that. That's it. Silo in. So now we can finally go and empty them trailers with just a little bit of stuff we've got in them. Also, there's a few little things as well off camera. I got a little bit carried away with some things. I might have got as a tally handler and this very lethal kind of fork on the front. So we go start this thing up. Let's just go in there, lift it up. I mean, it, it just looks lethal. Look at that. I just thought we need something for straw bales because we're going to be picking them up as well. And also, if we just leave that there for now and turn the lights off, I did also get this as well. This baler with some nice orange wrap on. If we can get through the back there. So when we come to do silage and stuff like that, we'll be able to sort of get some nice orange bales dotted around the field. Uh, you might have also seen as well this, the Scout, this is also for the um, Precision Farming DLC. So it tests the soil so we can find out. So as you can see on here at the minute, we don't really know much about these apart, apart from the yield is a bit, a bit ropey. So we don't know what the soil type is, the pH, we don't know nothing. So it's going to test all them for us. So we'll be doing that as well. We've got ourselves a nice little plow because we're going to need that. 
And then I kind of saw this as well. A nice big stone picker because stones are turned on. So it was only fair to sort of turn stones on on this. So let's go and get these uh, trailers. We need to tip these into the silo. Also, we need to go buy that's another thing. A little water tanker as well so we can uh, get some water for the greenhouse. So we will get that as well. These have all nicely been left on this field from the thumbnail. Let's see if we can hook up to this. That's a bad angle. That is pretty good boy. Come on now. And drive this in a little bit better. So there's some flowers in the field there next to us as well. They're not quite ready. I think that was October before we get them, uh, before we can tackle them. Let's just go and have a look here. How are we doing with this then? Uh, tip left side. That's a good one. So now we can do this. Let's just tip this in. Look at this. A bit further forward. Oh, there's a lot there, wasn't there? We'll be able to retire off these. Does look good. Right, so that is them sorted. So we'll get the water tank kit. We'll get the greenhouse going. We'll fill it with water. We've got to find some water as well around here. There's got to be like a little... Uh, little lake or something have we got anything on here let's have a look aha there we go so we're heading to the shop we've got that one there what one should we go for i think we'll go for the little one on the way back shall we so let's just pull in here let's go and have a look at water tankers then see what can we find from the water tankers so i'm guessing we're going to be into animals Ooh, we've got some nice little ones here Six thousand liters seven thousand three hundred I don't really want one with the dolly because the dolly ones are a bit of a nightmare to try and handle. What else have we got in here? Is that there's a lot of a lot of stuff in here as well. Oh, we've got this thing. Now this can be hooked onto the TLX, which is quite good. It holds up to 50,000 50, liters of water, milk, digestate, slurry, anything pretty much. But it does mean we've got to get a TLX. I don't think I don't think we're going to do that. I don't know. You see, it doesn't help us. I think so we'll leave that for the minute. And we'll just sort of stick one of these. I think what we're trying to do is, do we lease one of these? I mean, you know what? No, let's just buy one because we're going to need to keep doing the greenhouse. I think this is going to be okay for now. So we'll, we'll buy this. Not really worth leasing. Like we can go for the bigger one. I think when we start getting some animals and stuff like that, where we need milk and where we can do diesel and a bit of everything in that one tank here. Like you shouldn't really cross contaminate diesel and milk and water all in one tank it's not really good is it but for now i think this will do us so we're going to go to that little that lake just over here yeah let's see can we can we is it look deep too deep to drive in can we start filling no that's the wrong button how do we start filling so after a little bit of faffing about then we managed to work out I couldn't fill the tanker because my controller wasn't set for the right button to fill the tanker. But we're sorted now. As you can see at the bottom, we are filling this little tanker up as well. I might have just spent £500 as well on a... Basically a garden hose that I put back at the farm. And I thought, oh, maybe just this little lake is not good enough for it to fill up on. Lake's perfectly fine. It was a controller. I couldn't get it to work on the garden hose as well, which I will show you. And the garden hose charges me as well. So when I did finally work out, oh, it was the controller wasn't mapped to actually select it. When I tried it on the garden hose, it was like charging. I like, oh, no, that's that's a bad idea. Let's go back to the little lake and see if we can get free water. And uh, yes, we managed to. So, so luckily we sorted that one out. But now I can't get rid of the garden hose. So it's going to have to stay there. Because I, I thought, you know, I'm going to put it in a nice place. Close to the little light barn sort of shed thing where we've got the tally handler. The problem is it's a little bit too close now for trying to get rid of. It looks quite nice. It's a, it's a nice little mod. So we're going to have a quick lock here before we fill the greenhouse. It's just, just there, you see? That's all it is. 500 quid. But I can't get rid of it now because it's too close to the building. It's sort of dragging it in with the building. So it wants to get rid of this to get rid of that. So we're stuck with that. So if we get really desperate and that lake does run out, we, we can go fill up here and we can pay for it. But it's um, it doesn't seem very cheap at all. So 
yeah i think we're late we're passing off now the lake is working fine now we've got it mapped so we just come in here now there you go we can add water to the greenhouse and hopefully we can get this production underway now we could um, we're gonna go for all i think for now let's just get them all all going uh less is strawberries and old tommies well that's not bad actually i thought it was going to be the the water was not going to make a dent at all but that's done pretty well so we might get one of them a little bit later let's go and activate for tomatoes lettuce and strawberries let's can we do can we do more will they all work or not or should we just go what's the best one here oh leave water to two strawberries let's just go for some strawberries for now and then we'll store them as well we'll be able to pick them up and uh, we'll be able to sell them and hopefully get a good price on them as well what are they kind of going for at the minute? Let's have a look on here and see. Can we find strawberries? Where are strawberries on the list here? Somewhere a bit lower down. There we go, strawberries. Mm, not great at the minute, but what's the best? Oh, Feb. There we go. So Feb's the best price for that at the minute. We are in, uh, are we in August? We're in August. So yeah, we're, we're not in the best at the minute. It is quite low. It's going low in October, but Feb is the best time. So hopefully by then we'll have some, uh, some nice little strawberries underway. Shut the door. Get the tractor. And if anything, we can actually... Can we park this up around the back of here? Yeah, I suppose we could do. We could park it around the back of the greenhouse. Because at the minute, that's all we're going to be using it for. Can we get in there without smashing the greenhouse? Yeah, let's just... Let's just dump it there for now. So we've got straw to get up as well. And it, it doesn't say on the map that we need to actually do any plowing. If we go and have a look back on here, everything looks good. So there's no plowing. There's no stones are showing. That's what the little yellow dots are. There's no stones showing in here. They all look pretty good. So I think we might just go straight in. And we'll just see if we can back up and find out where the soil sampler is. I think it was under here. Let's just see if we can hook up to that. And then let's go and see if we can do some soil sampling. So we pull up our little help menu here now. We'll be able to see there's a little... Uh, if we unfold it, unfold soil sample unit. There we go. And as you can see, if you look on the little map at the bottom, you can see there's a big green dot appeared. So we need to get that over as much as the field as we can. And hopefully if we can go this way a little bit, we can pretty much cover all the field in like one hit here just park it up just a little bit a bit more over this way it's not too bad there so let's see if we can lower the unit and take soil sample So we've got the soil sample now for that one. Then we can get up to six at a time. As you can see, the sample's been taken. We can go round and get more on the field if we need to, but I think that's not too bad. It's only a very little field. So let's have a go on this one up here. Let's just go straight for the middle on this one. Let's take a sample. Send samples for analyzing. Yep, let's do that then. Let's send them off. Yep, we can chat back soon. So we can now fold this back up. And we can go and put this away now. It's done its job. Don't need to worry about the sunflowers for now. They'll be okay. We'll wait till they're harvested. Well, let's just go put this outside the, outside the caravan. Why not? So strawberries are going well. We've now got the silo in. We just need to look about maybe getting the straw, do you think? Might be quite good. And I mean, we can go through and we can plow the fields. Get them all looking fresh and ready. Ooh. They're open holes, I think, in the floor there. It's not, it's not good, is it? I can't wait till we can start doing silage to see what these actual bales come out like. So let's just have a quick look and see what size are we on here. All looking pretty good, I think. Let's just see. I'm not going to get much from this. But even if we get like a bale or two. 
Better than nothing. There's the first bale, so we might get a couple of bales. It's one and a half bales. It's nothing spectacular. Uh, let's just see if we can now go and uh, unload this. Unload round baler. Yeah, why not? Look at that. And we've got a part finished one just there as well. I don't think we can do anything with this one what's in here so it's okay we will uh we'll just save this one for another day so let's jump into this thing then let's give this lethal thing a go and let's just see how we get on with this these spikes are awesome we've got to grab two of these at the same time look at that no effort at all so for now we're just going to put these under here i think just keep them out of the way in case it rains it's not looking too bad at the minute watch the roof rub it down a little bit ah, that's it just just keep in there for now keep it nice and uh, nice and dry out the way might need to look and see if we can get some proper like bale storage that might be good Let's just go put this back in here again. Watch the hole in the middle. Drop it in there. Lights off. Engine off. The things are looking good. I think really now we can progress on to the next month because uh, it's just approaching nearly 7 o'clock. And hopefully by tomorrow we should have the samples back. We'll find out and we can actually do some proper work on the fields. Let's go for, for 8 o'clock, shall we? So we're back to a bit of a cloudy morning then. But the sunflowers are looking good. Look at these. These are well on the way now. These are. It's a little bit cloudy, but things should progress as the day goes on. The soil samples have come back. Let's take a look at these then. So the nitrogen is looking shocking on some of them. Look at 44. I'll get it much lower than that. pH levels is not great as well. Um, so it's quite sandy loam at the minute, as most of them. A bit of silty clay at the top on 46. A bit of loamy sand is all just in the bottom corner. 44, it's just not, not, not brilliant, are they? I think what we need to do now is I think we need to go and have a look in here and we need to see, oh, is there anything on the uh, used vehicle? Oh, you see, there's a fertilizer there if we want to do uh, any grapes or olives. Cedar. Uh, we do need to get ourselves a planter, don't we, as well? We've got to get one of them. There's not really anything here much at the minute that's going to be any good to us. So we're going to have a look in here see if we can find we need to find ourselves a fertilizer so into fertilizer spread is then there's a, a vast variety of what we could go for uh, but i think i want to go for one of these little ones here because i mean these are these are quite big and the fields we've got at the minute are not very big these have got quite a coverage as well but the thing i like with these ones we can also do the fertilizer and lime as well because we are going to need that so do we We'll go for the biggest because the lime, you can absolutely get through it as well. If you play this, you'll know. We don't need any mud guards. We'll just go for the uh, standard attaches cover. Yeah, we'll put a cover on just in case because then if we don't quite use what's in it, we can leave it to one side. Uh, we don't really need the transport wheels. So we'll go buy one of them. And we'll head over to, head over to the shop and we'll go get it and I'll see you over the shop. So while I was over the shop, I kind of realized that we're going to need something to get the lime and get the fertilizer from. And we can get them on pallets, but these things are really cool. It's a multi-fruit buying station. And I thought about putting one here on the yard so we can then just literally drive under with whatever we need. If we need food for any animals, and you can literally buy anything from this. So I'm just thinking about if we put it just here somewhere, at least then we can fill up obviously at the yard. It's the kind of place you want it. Instead of keep running back to the store to get things. I think if we go for this here, it's not a bad price. Two and a half grand as well. We'll put one of them in. We'll get the fertilizer spreader and lime spreader. We'll go back. We'll tackle the fields and see if we can try and balance out these uh, the nitrogen and the pH levels on the fields to make them look a little bit better. But I think what I might do first though is it doesn't need plowing. But I think it's nice to start with a bit of a blank canvas. So we're going to go over. We're going to plow them. Get them all looking nice and fresh. Then tackle them with lime. And then we need to find out what are we going to put in them? What can we actually put in them at this time of year? 
don't think there's much. I think there's maybe what is it? Wheat and barley I think we can put in this time of year. Well, uh, we'll have a quick look now and see what can we put in. So looking at the calendar then, September, yeah, we can do wheat, barley, or we can just about do some canola. I think it might be nice to do some of this wheat. We might get some more bales as well then. We can uh, keep them stored up. We can sell them as well if we want. Or do we do some barley? Hmm. Either one. I think we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go with some wheat. So let's see if we can just have a quick look at this and see what can we do with this. Lime or fertilizer. Fill her up. 539 pound for 3,200 liters. Now, how far is that going to go? Do you know what? I have no idea. Let's just see. There is a way. Sometimes these are auto application. Yeah, you can see it. it's working it out. What do you think? Do we do a bit of lime first and then... Oh, look at this. Strawberries are already going as well. Being overnight. Look at that. Three pallets of strawberries have already come out. That's pretty quick. Mmm, look at them. Lovely strawberries. All right, we'll, uh, we'll leave them there. We're going to have to find something to do with them very soon. Though we've got a flat tire then. I didn't realize it's got chocks and I need to stop it rolling. I seriously thought it was a flat tire then. Right, so let's just see then if we can work out how do we do this then. So we've got automatic application rates. We'll turn on this. And let's just see. That is one heck of a spread. I should have gone over it a little bit more. Wow. I'll be honest, I didn't expect... Uh, that much of a wide spread on this. What a beast. So that's already looking better on there. And we get some crops in as well and we can fertilize it. Things a little bit better on there. Let's... Uh, Let's just go and leave us here for now. Drop it there for now. Do you think plowing first would really make a massive difference or not? Let's put the plow up. Let's give it a go and see. I just think it will give us a nice clean slate. Get it all ready for the next crop that's going to go in, which I think we're going to do some wheat. Luckily, you don't seem to be kicking up too many stones as well. So let's go through. I'm going to go through and get these done. Plow these up and then we're going to go lime the other field as well. So we'll plow both these fields up. We'll lime them and then we'll see how we're looking after that.
So pretty impressive then that that field, we managed to do the whole field with lime in one hit, which is pretty good. So you might have seen the graph as well, I was looking not bad. We've got a few stones that have come up now from doing a bit of uh, plowing on them. But at least the pH levels are looking a little bit better now. The, 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 the good end, which is what we want. Obviously nitrogen, you know, when we put stuff in, we fertilize it. We'll obviously look a little bit better. But I think we now really could do with tackling the stones. Just to make sure there's nothing. Because obviously stones in really does wear the equipment out. And since we've got a bit of a stone picker. We might as well use that, haven't we, really? Although the stone picker seems to have a bit of a mind of its own. I don't know if you've noticed. Occasionally, it seems to keep changing colour. Stacking a lot of equipment outside the caravan, but, you know, why not? Yeah, the stone picker seems to keep changing colour. It, it's, it seems to be its normal kind of goldy colour when you're far away. And then when you get close to it, it's the green colour that I picked. Let's just try this one first and see. Now, this is a bit of a moddy one, this is because it's just a little bit. Well, as you can see, it's got some extensions on it. And also, it might hold just a, a, a few, a few thousand liters more than uh, the standard one, and it might just go a little bit quicker as well. Only because, you know, it's, well, why not? I think it's got a 10,000 litre capacity and obviously we're going to get nowhere near that because these are only very shallow stones. There's not much at all in these. So after all that then, a whopping 313 litres of both fields of stones. It's not a great deal. I, I knew it wasn't going to be much at all and this thing holding 10,000 litres is a bit ambitious. But think ahead. Bigger fields, we will get there. So let's go put the stones in here, all 300 of them. Look at that. Beautiful. So some stones in the silos ready to then transfer across if we do get a line production. But I think that's looking good. We are very close then to the sunnies in the next episode. I would have thought hopefully the next episode we'll be able to do them. Because really we are ready now. We need to just have a look and see uh, stones are all gone from them. Look at that. I think there's literally two, sto two stones in 44 that I've missed. So yeah, September, we can do wheat. We can also do it in October as well. So we might get, in the next episode, we'll get the wheat done, definitely. We'll go find a plant and we'll plant them. And then we'll come back in October. Hopefully when they're done, we'll be able to fast forward to October and we'll be able to get the sunflowers out as well. Then we can prep that field and get that ready to put something in. Is the much, yeah, in October, hopefully we should be able to go and put some wheat in that. So we'll have three fields of wheat in just to make the most of them because there's not really much else we can do apart from the uh, from grass put some grass in if we wanted but yeah that's really all we can do is wheat and barley so that's not be pretty good that but we'll get some uh, wheat in them two fields in the next episode we'll then fast forward a day and see if we can go into the next month in october to be able to do the sunflowers and then we'll get that field ready and we'll put wheat in them as well and then we should have a nice amount of wheat and hopefully we can progress onwards and we can start looking to see maybe maybe getting our first production see if we can have a look at the how much the grain mill is so we'll be able to start making stuff on that as well. We've got strawberries as well to tackle whenever they are good. It's coming along nicely. So thank you so much for watching then. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.